Hello and welcome to today's program. This is your host, Brother Vaughn Henshaw. I do appreciate you tuning in today. We are going through the Bible book by book. I'm giving you a brief overview of each book of the Bible according to the principles of hermeneutics and exegesis and in its proper context. Today we are going to be getting into the tabernacle. We're about ready to get into Exodus chapter 25. That will be in the next program. Right now, I want to give you a brief overview of the tabernacle. This is my favorite study in the Old Testament. I have loved uh, studying and, and teaching about the tabernacle for nearly 30 years now. It's such an amazing thing that God is doing here, and I want to get right into it. God has taught Israel Ten Commandments that sum up the spiritual, civil, and moral requirements to fellowship with him we saw that back in exodus chapters 20 through 23 god now gives moses plans for a portable movable worship center the tabernacle god will put his presence there the shekinah glory of god is there the tabernacle will be the one place on earth where yahweh's people can meet with and worship yahweh the only true god God also provides a priesthood to serve at the tabernacle. With God's laws defined and accepted by God's people now, the possibility of law-breaking becomes a fearful, sad reality. And listen, if you're a born-again child of God, listen, sins, whether of rebellion or unintentional error, sins of omission or commission, doesn't matter, shatter a believer's fellowship with the Lord. So God establishes a priesthood commissioned to offer sacrifices for sin so that fellowship can be restored between the person and God and forgiven sinners can have access to God. Thus the tabernacle not only stands for access to God in Israel's religion but also for atonement and reconciliation. The book of Hebrews over in the New Testament tells us that every detail, the minutest, most obscure detail of the tabernacle's design and every item of its furniture has significance. Each item symbolizes some spiritual reality. This is why I love studying and teaching about the tabernacle. Therefore, the one door that opens onto the temple court testifies to the fact that there is only one way to approach God, and that is through the Lord Jesus Christ. And the altar of sacrifice placed just inside that one door informs us all that we must come with a sacrifice, the blood of a substitute, which is the blood of Jesus Christ. If you're a born-again child of God today, we have access to Yahweh God through the shed blood of Christ. Once we were born again, the blood of Christ was applied over our lives. And God Almighty, Yahweh, sees us through that shed blood of Jesus. So in the Exodus chapters that follow here, from Exodus 25 on, the tabernacle blueprint and each item of furniture will be carefully discussed. And I know that you're going to enjoy this teaching.